Hi guys, so this is my analysis on Chainlink. What am I expecting on Chainlink? If you watched my previous analysis on Chainlink, I said I was expecting Chainlink to get to my target. Like you all know, my first target, which is 6966, right here, my 27% fib level around that area. Because we can see, I saw there was an impulse correction, an impulse correction. So I said there's a possibility that we might get to my first target which is around that area but as we can see that we actually got to my second target and even surpassed that so i'm gonna delete my previous analysis and reanalyze based on this current price market so i'm going to adjust the strong line right here then i'm going to see what we have been looking for let me go to a smaller time frame just to see because if you've watched my analysis, you know, I like doing top down analysis. It helps to know the overall direction of the market. So I like going from like the bigger time frame to the smaller time frame. Just for us to know, just to simplify it and know what we are looking for. So I'm going to draw another trend line from here to here. That helps. This is kind of tricky, but I can still work with it. I just right here. Okay. Okay. So I think I've gotten a bit of what I wanted right now. So what am I looking for right now? We can see that right here. It has been rejecting off of right here. So one, I see a possibility if I draw, I can put a line here. I know there's a possibility for us because we've been rejecting around this area and it's giving me somewhat of like a a double bottom or something we call the W pattern, right? Which is a reversal pattern. So I see something like this right here. There's a possibility for us to push to the upside. So right now I want to see like an engulfing candle to be present. That shows an engulfing bullish candle to be present. So that shows that there's a possibility that we might ride up a little bit right there. And if I ride it up, this will be my target right here until otherwise happen. But if you're gonna push to the downside, right? I'll prefer it to at least come down to break this zone, to break this week right here, we test the zone and continue to push to the downside. So that will be my um thought. Let me go to a bigger time frame just to see if you're pushing to the downside, is there any imbalance or anything that we are looking for? okay let me delete this one okay let's watch this one right here we can see around around this area right here there is an imbalance that i can draw with this bigger time frame so this is the daily time frame right here i can draw something like this just for us to see what we are looking for all right okay so if we are pushing to the downside this would be my target right here my target is around this area right here so let me go back to the smaller time frame just for us to see so if you're pushing i like i said i have two scenarios one scenario is we're gonna start rejecting around this area and um possible push to this side right here my second is if we break this zone i want to retest then it continue to push to the downside and this will be my target right here so let me change the color of this first one so both are the scenarios i have right now on chain link we just have to be patient to see where it's gonna go either it's gonna go up and it's gonna go down and if that way it goes i have my proper plan for if i see a bullish present i know where i want to take it and where i want to uh, enter and where i want to take it to 
and if i see a bearish present i know where i want to take it and where i want to take it to so that is just my thought on channeling guys hope you find this helpful and informative if you do don't forget to click the subscribe button comment down below and share and like and i'll definitely see you in my next analysis thank you for watching guys